Yo, what do you YouTube? This is your boy Speech. Right now, I want to talk to you guys about FX's new show. I, I've been waiting for it since I haven't seen it on the commercial. Snowfall. FX's Snowfall. Uh, I just watched the pilot not too long ago, and it stars this street entrepreneur kid I started out of uh, South Central LA by the name of Franklin Saint. You know, a really good kid who's just trying to make it out in the world. You know, and it's, it stars in 1983, June 14th, 1983, in South Central LA. You know, and this is when the cocaine epidemic officially hit, you know, and Franklin was trying to make his way, you know, he has a business mind, you know, he just wants to be happy, you know, he just wants to make, he wants to have this money, you know, so he can get get away, and just get away from all the BS and make it somewhere in life, you know, he doesn't feel, he's not tied down to the restraints, of working a, you know, suit and tie, cubicle, office cubicle kind of job, you know, he's looking for that real fast money, so, you know, we see him, you know, deal weed, you know, with his uncle and everything like that, but he, when he came to his uncle, for with this uh, with this rock, you know, with this cocaine, you know, from this guy, you know, his uncle was definitely against it, you know, saying, you know, like, that's gonna be a lot of heat on my head, you know, if things go bad, you know, basically, you know. And we saw a couple of Franklin's connections, you know, one kid in the valley, you know, who he supplies weed to, you know, the kid was actually afraid to actually get to score to get some cocaine, so you know, you sent Franklin, you know, because you know Franklin's a runner, you know, he gets he's. You know, he gets the cocaine and stuff like that, so he has no problem with that. You know, he said, as they said, you know, send the black guy, you know, jokingly. But, of course, you know, we all know he's in the black guy. So, this Israeli guy says, you know, listen, you got 12 hours, you need to get give me my money, and we're all good. You know, and we scared him to death, I believe. You know, he's, I mean, he shot him, I mean, he heard a gunshot, you know, and the guy, his uh, rod was like, maybe it was from other, maybe it was from some other place. You know, I'm like, BS, bro. And I was like, right there in the house. So, before Franklin left, you know, well, I got some friends, you know, that I can get back to my ride. He's like, no, 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 my guys are my, are your, my guys are your ride now because so I know where you live in case things go bad, you know, in case you decide to flip on me, you know. Really, really cool, critical stuff, you know. I really enjoyed it, you know. So as the show goes on, you know, the rest of Gustavo, you know, that he's really fans of, you know, he he joins up with another family, you know, to do some do a hit B and E, you know, but he ends up, you know, I guess killing. The family man by accident, by defense, off of us, via self defense. You know, he fell over the, the banister of, of his upstairs and he hit his head on the, uh, basically on the railing, so he's dead. So he has to deal with that guilt. Uh, this show was really just really cool. You know, I really enjoyed it, you know, from top to bottom. I really cannot wait to see next week. You know, another thing is we saw uh, his uncle's girlfriend actually reconnect with an old flame. You know, they ended on bad ties. You know, she didn't trust him, of course. Her name was Cleo, I believe. Chloe. You know, she said, he said, listen, I can't give you the name of my connection, but I can tell you this. If you kill me, then you're going to have a bunch of people coming after you. Well, the best thing I can do is try to set you up with my guy. You know, as he told, you know, his uncle's girlfriend. Like, the best thing I can do is set Chloe up with my guy so I never can get well acquainted. Actually, no, she actually went against that. You know, but Franklin's a really smart business kind of guy. So, you know, I have a feeling he's going to put two and two together. Have them meet with each other, you know, this and the third. But, you know, then there's also this uh, disgruntled CIA op uh, operative, you know, he's by the name of Teddy M, Teddy McDonald. So he's trying to get his name clear, you know, he's trying to get back in the game, you know, so he teams up with this other guy, uh, with a, what would they call him, um, Cardano or something like that. And so one of his good guys actually OD'd on, on some cocaine, you know, he investigated him, you know, he's a crime scene investigator, it looks like. And so he said, you know what, I'll take care of this if you put me on, you know, and we can get things ready. And he said, listen, if I go down, you'll be able to call your guys, pull some strings, so then I won't, I won't go to jail. He said, yeah. So, you know, he, you know, he was investigating, you know, Teddy was investigating the crime scene of his uh, fallen uh, comrade, you know. And he says, you know what, he noticed this is an earring from one of the girls that was there the night of one of his teammates who were actually killed, the old deed. You know, so it looks like next week we'll finally get some answers as to Who's your ring that is, and where's the girl? Because it looks like she's dead. You know, when Teddy first saw, you know, the guy, he had blood on his collar, so there's no telling what happened. But this is your boy Shades Fisher. you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel. Comment what you guys think about the video. What do you guys think about the series so far? Let me know in the comments below, man. I love you guys. God bless.